display to your biometrics. There's a training rifle ahead by the OP. Pick it up, and let's begin. Roger that, Control. Take a prone position to stabilize your base. We need consistent readings. Switch on your binocular display to enable hostile tags. Tag the target straight ahead. You're 12 o'clock. Tagging hostiles will give you their range and keep track of their movements. Your scope also allows you to measure range to targets. Go to glass and see for yourself. The upper left quadrant in your scope is a rangefinder. A target's height on that scale indicates their distance from you. It'll change according to your zoom ratio. Focus on your breathing. Splash this target. Aim for the head. Hit. Go for the next one. Next target, your 12, 300 meters. I know you're used to doing the maths for range, wind speed, and direction in your head, but we've saved you some time. Adjust for range and use the bullet drop curve to line the shot. Good. Raven, find your next target. Adjusting your scope to target's range will improve accuracy. I've marked the distance for you. Set your scope elevation to 400. By calibrating your scope properly, you won't have to manually adjust your aim or go down to compensate for the disc that's a miss. Double check your scope. The elevation setting needs to match the marked range to target. Wounds to center mass are not always lethal. A headshot is your best option. Good. Splash four more now. There's plenty of ammo. Restock or reload when you need it. I know you're a marksman, but use your binoculars to tag hostiles before taking the shot. It'll give you distance to target to zero your scope. Excellent. First target down. Two more to go. Bad. One more to go. We're all calibrated. We can move on. Move through the door to the next area. We have some additional kit to familiarize yourself with.
First up, Falcon Drone. Pick it up. Select it from your inventory. Now launch it. The Falcon can see when you can't. There are two enemies behind that metal wall ahead. Locate and tag them with the drone. It has a limited battery life, but will recharge when holstered. Call it back. The drone can hack CCTV boxes. We're looking into possible upgrades later. There's a CCTV access point in the building below. Send the drone in and hack it. That interference is caused by a jamming tower. You're likely to encounter more of them during your missions. They're heavily armored, so don't try to destroy them. Just keep the drone out of their jamming range. Your mask's hood will indicate when you're close to one. Thankfully, their heavy armor does limit signal range. Use the drone to find an alternate route to the CCTV box. Hacking one access point gives you control of all the cameras connected to it. It also prevents them detecting your presence afterwards. Try switching between different cameras. Any hostiles you spot on camera will be tagged in your hood too. That's handy. You're up to speed on the drone now. There's another piece of kit on the table. Have a look. These auto turrets sync with your hood. You still need to mark hostiles for the turret manually, but it can then fire at your command. Once placed, you set it up via your mask's binocular mode. Activate that now. Focus on the hostiles you tag with. Once marked, you can execute the fire command anytime. Exit binocular mode and command the turret to fire. You're done with gear familiarization. One thing I should mention, you can use a turret's inbuilt camera for overwatch, or use it to execute simultaneous shots if needs be. Also, the turrets are under constant development. We may be able to upgrade them later. That's all the new gear covered. We have a spot set up to test special ammo too. Or you can head straight out. There's a truck waiting in the back. 